What's going on guys, it's No Slack Novak and I'm bringing you episode 7 of Sim Airport. Now this episode's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna start it off with a little bit of dialogue here on what's going on with the game. Now these guys, uh, like I've been saying the last few episodes, these guys are constantly updating us, constantly putting out patches for Sim Airport. And uh, yesterday, uh, sometime in the afternoon, they released a patch on March 13th and it was a big one. Now let me tell you a little bit about what uh, what they did. So they addressed the uh, the kitchen. Uh, as we know, the kitchen and the cafes have been pretty buggy. Uh, that's why I haven't really been building them in my episodes, is because they just flat out don't work. Well, as you can see here, the kitchen and the cafe fixes are somewhat extensive. They fixed some sort of a deadlock when reserving a prep cart, which I think is what is the uh, the number one thing, the number one issue that I was having. Uh, just something in the kitchen wasn't working right, and that uh, kind of did like a little snake effect where if that didn't work, something else didn't work. If that didn't work, something else didn't work. So it looks like they addressed that, and what you guys can go ahead and do and just pause the video uh, to get a more detailed description, or so you guys can read exactly what this says, because I'm not going to go over everything word for word, and a lot of this stuff, frankly, it just goes over my head. I'm not sure what it is. Now, next up, they worked on uh, aircraft movement and pathfinding. Uh, again, uh, I guess a lot of people have been issues with their airplanes kind of getting stuck on the taxiway or the runway. Looks like they've addressed that. Next up, the extra large gate changes and improvements. Uh, this is kind of cool. Uh, they made it to where, you know, there, there's different kinds of aircraft in the game, right? Like there's one aircraft that only holds 19 people and then I think there's another one that holds 500, maybe 600 people. Doesn't make sense that they use the same gate. So what they do, uh, what they have now is they have the two the the two gates, the large gate and the extra large gate. Now the extra large planes, you know, the ones that hold 250, 300, 500 people, those have to use the the extra large gates, which completely makes sense. Now, however, uh, the small aircraft can use either gate, which also you know completely makes sense. So that's kind of cool. Brings a little more of a challenge, which you know we maybe not. Uh, don't necessarily need a challenge, but hey, uh, that's a welcome addition, at least in my eyes. And then uh, additional changes and fixes here. Uh, they fixed some sort of a construction cancellation bug. Uh, they also, let's see, agent pickups can now fall back to walking off the map in extreme cases. I think that is to where uh, you had people on like the edge of maps just kind of stuck there, uh, employees and I think passengers. So, you know, you could hire all these employees and then these guys are just kind of stuck off the map. So I think if they walk off the map, you kind of get your money back. Maybe not your money back, but you're not charged their hourly uh, rate. So that's, you know, that's another thing. Go ahead and pause the video there if you want to, you know, read a lot of this stuff here. That's kind of an extensive little list there. And then uh, last and not least, all the way down here, it does say that uh, prior versions of this may not work due to the size and scope of the update. And they recommend that we start a new game, which uh, one of the reasons why I brought this up is we're going to do exactly that. And I know you guys are probably sick and tired of me starting a new game all the time, which, you know, I apologize, but I want to bring you guys the best possible Let's Plays that we can do. And when they're constantly fixing stuff, it makes me want to play the newer fixed version. So today we're going to be doing a brand new airport and I'm going to really try to make it the very last uh, restart that we do for a while, uh, you know, for hopefully a few months until they really, really iron out a lot of the stuff with the game. So that's that. You know what? And there's one more thing that I want to talk about uh, on the uh, subreddit, the uh, Sim Airport subreddit. Uh, one of the developers there is extremely active, and I kind of put a post up detailing what my biggest, uh, you know, concerns were uh, and which bugs bothered me the most. And he, you know, responded at length with uh, what they're working on. And it says right now, I'm going to throw it up. It says right now our number one priority is still bugs, but things are looking substantially better, which I agree with. With all these constant updates, things are definitely looking better. It says that soon they're going to really start looking at gameplay and balance, which also that was one of my things that I put up is, you know, like the pricing balance and all that is just absolutely ridiculous. They cancel a contract on you, the airlines, and they charge you something like $16,000. Whereas, you know, a plane coming in only gives you about $1,500. So they're really charging you like 10, 11, 12 trips for canceling that contract. And it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't add up. 
And that's just one of the examples. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Um, it says that they're also going to be... Uh, okay, th this is probably the most encouraging thing of this entire uh, response that I got. It says, anyways, we're not going anywhere. We expect and hope to be working on Sim Airport for at least the next year, if not far longer. There are a lot of things that we'd like to get into the game. Right now, bugs remain our number one priority, but it won't be long before we'll be able to shift gears and really liven the game up. That right there is pretty huge. That, you know, if, if they're going to be working on this game for at least a year, then I expect a lot of improvements, a lot of bug fixes, a lot of new content, and hopefully, you know, like Prison Architect, a lot of people are saying this game looks like Prison Architect, and hopefully, after working on this for a year, they'll get it to the level of fun that Prison Architect was, at least for me. Now, all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into building our brand new airport. Alright guys, so with all that being said, here we are with our brand new airport. Uh, this is with the latest patch, obviously. And first and foremost, what I want to do, and you guys are familiar with this, right? This is the default airport that pretty much everybody has been using since the game came out. First and foremost, what I want to do, and a lot of you guys I think are going to be happy with this, I am adding a second gate right off the bat. I'm not going to wait. I'm going to put it in there because that, I think, is going to be the number one thing that allows us to... Uh, make a profit on our airport second thing I'm gonna do like I have the last few episodes I'm gonna get rid of this area here okay that just doesn't I mean it I understand why they put it there but it doesn't make sense in my eyes uh, this you know kind of hinders the flow of the traffic of our airport that being said I also want to expand the foundation and I'm gonna be doing all of this this is a, this is gonna take a little while so today's episode might be a little bit long what I want to do is I want to expand this area over here because that's our security area, right? Then I think, and with this is where we're going to start kind of running a little bit low on money. Uh, I think I'm going to have like a little, a little waiting area down here because, as we know, we're going to need a lot of queues. So I think this is going to be kind of like a queue area. We're going to have one, we're going to have the two ticketing desks. I want to say it's going to be the two ticketing desks. We might just do the one. As a matter of fact, you know what, I played a little bit before I did this episode, uh, just kind of testing out the patch, how it works and everything, and I think I figured out why we were having a lot of trouble with getting people on the plane in time, and I don't think it necessarily had to do with the gate agent. I think it had to do with the baggage, like a lot of people pointed out in the comment section. Uh, we didn't have the baggage cart, or it just wasn't delivering it fast enough, so I think that's what we're going to... Uh, uh, I think that's what's going to allow us to just kind of have the one queue. So if we have this over here, we're probably going to build like a queue going over here. And then another one for this gate, we're going to have another queue over here. And I think that will then make it so that we have to have extra room down here for, let's say, like the vending machines, a seating area, all that fun stuff. So, you know what? Let's actually just go ahead. Let's expand. Since this is going to be our foundation over here, right? Oh, we can do that. Okay, so let's expand. Um, let's do something like this. Nothing crazy. I don't want to spend too much money because I'm not 100% sure that um, we're going to have enough to, to undergo this, uh, you know, giant undertaking. Now, they're destroying the restrooms. That's good there. What we want to do here with the ticketing, um, I think, I really don't want to take out a loan. And I think we're going to need to increase the prices. So what we're going to have to do for that, let's go into research. And we're going to research finance and operations. And then which one of these makes it to where we can research pricing? Uh, we have to have a CFO. So the CFO is going to be number one most important thing there. Let's go ahead and build a, a little office for this, uh, for this guy. Just something like that. Nothing crazy. We're going to go ahead. We're going to give him a door. In this office over here now what I want to do since we're here already I'm gonna build a few more of these ticketing desks okay so we're gonna do something like that and let's do one more and then let's also do some of these electronic uh, kiosks now we can do something like let's do that and that two is gonna be fine then his office can kind of be behind those ticketing kiosks that looks good there let me go ahead and throw the queue down since we're already here now what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to start it over here. 
and then just kind of weave it uh, weave it around here and I'm I am doing just the one ticketing queue because in my experience that works best um, rather than doing one line for each thing over there and I know we could do the whole first class thing I don't want to do that with the ticketing queue I might do that over here with the uh, gate agent desks and with security but I'm not gonna do it over up in ticketing now baggage claim here let's go ahead and remove a little bit of this zone just because I don't like having these two zones too close together I'm gonna need a baggage carousel without a doubt and I'm probably gonna need a second one uh, because of the second gate let's go ahead how much is this the carousel is 5,000 that it's not huge let's go ahead and do the second one right now and then I'm gonna kinda of fix the zone up a little bit and we're also gonna need a hanger which we really want to get the medium one which kinda of sucks that's forty six thousand dollars but I think I think we have to have it um, let's see here I don't want to get too crazy uh, let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit and maybe we should start getting some flights coming in just so that we can kind of, you know, start making a little bit of money. Let's see here. Uh, I would really like to hire more construction workers because these guys are going ridiculously slow right now. Uh, but that's going to be a nice little area for us there. Uh, we're going to cancel these zones over here, right? We don't want the restrooms and all that junk there. Let's go ahead and cancel the security zone here as well and we're definitely gonna have to build floors up here let's do that bam tell them to start building floors over here as well here as well and they need it they always leave this one little block which I don't understand why they leave that there but hey whatever not not a huge deal all right so things uh, let's see ninety eight thousand dollars a little a uh, little tight on the budget I think but I think we should be okay Oh yeah, we're also going to need to do a little bathroom, right? A little restroom. Um, that is something, let's see, we need to uh, get rid of this wall over here. So let's go ahead and clear this out. Um, let's go ahead and clear this wall here. And we're going to need to put... Okay, good, they're getting rid of that. And they're putting down the foundation, that's good. Alright, a little worried there. So they're putting down the floor. Uh, they're going to get rid of this, hopefully, soon. Let's go ahead and put flooring down here. That's 2500 bucks. That's a little steep, but not horrible, not horrible. Come on, guys, get rid of that right there. There we go. All right, so we can put flooring there. Bam. Got rid of that. Put some flooring there. Not bad. Let's go ahead and do this wall over here. So they're going to get off the gate, and then we're going to leave just the two, and we're going to do something like this. 3000 bucks for that. Not, uh, not super expensive. And we're going to have to have the security uh, gates, right? Security exit. So we're going to go ahead and put those, say, there and there. And then let us, um, let's exit out of this. And what we're going to do is we're going to move these. Destroy that. Destroy that. And let's go ahead and destroy that as well. The ID check stand. Uh, let's see. What else? Is there anything else that we need to do? Uh, ticketing. We need to get rid of that. So let's go ahead and get rid of this little zone area right here. And we're going to do an office up here. Bam. And for the office, we're going to need the desk. We're down to $88,000. Not, uh, not horrible. We're going to need the office desk. Now let's make sure we're putting this in uh, right. So it looks like computer's facing us. Let's go ahead and rotate it to where it's going that way. And then we're going to go ahead and give them a nice little office chair right th You know what? That we're gonna go right there that should be fine there now we already see that we're gonna need to hire some more employees up there so this is done uh, let's go ahead and assign this zone over here so we're gonna do let's let's do something like I wanna say we're gonna start there let's do this for now let's do let's do let's do this Let's go ahead and put the bag scanner down, right? Well, actually, no, let's start with the, we're gonna go step by step. We're gonna do the ID stand first. Now let's go ahead and put uh, an ID stand here and here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the scanner. And the scanner is gonna go like right here and here. 
And I think we're going to need a third one. I'm pretty sure we're going to need a third one. But I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do three metal detectors now. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they're facing the right way now. We're going to do that, that, and that. Okay. And let's see. What should we do now? Because I'm thinking... So they're going to walk through there. I kind of want to make this a restroom down here. Let's see. Can we build... How much are the walls? Not too expensive. Um, so I kind of want to wall this off. I'm not sure if we absolutely can, though. Um... You know what, and I don't think I want to because we're probably going to have to expand that area up there. So let's, you know, and I probably, I probably could move that. Let's go ahead and build a wall right here. We're going to get rid of this over here. And now we're going to have our seating area and we're also going to need the restroom. So I'm thinking a restroom could be something like one, two, three, four, break one two okay that's a little smaller than you know what the, the restroom is a little smaller than I want and then we might have to expand the seating area more up here um, let's try hmm. don't want to make this too I'm probably overthinking this aren't I uh, so let's do let's do this we're gonna go something like that uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the door on the restroom right need that uh, clearly we need the flooring in the restroom like so and now we can put down these sinks and the toilets which we have up here and then you know what I tried this um, we have this storage shelf over here I tried placing that into the delivery zone and they do not move these boxes into back into the delivery zone into the storage shelf so kind of just a waste of money right now I'm not gonna go ahead and worry about that too much let's go ahead and install some of these sinks up here and then what we're going to do is we're going to put the toilets down here. And this shouldn't be costing any money because we have uh, these available over here. So that's going to get done. And then I think this is going to be kind of our little seating area. Now let's go up here and find the benches. And we could do something like, should we put it against the wall here? We could do like something like that. And then facing them and then back to back right there. And then facing them and then we could always expand further out but this is going to be like our little seating area over here and we're down to $65,000 I think we're fine I don't think we're going to really be struggling too much however I do still need to build the hangar and let's uh, let's actually extend this security zone uh, we're going to do something like that so extending that security zone should make this warning go away. Let's go ahead and see what this says. Uh, one gauge, uh, okay, is that is this referring to that? Or is this referring to, let's see, I think that's referring to the, uh, the airplane gate, so I'm not too concerned about that right now. Uh, we do need to get the warehouse down, and we do need to put, you know, the conveyors and all that fun stuff. Um, as of right now, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and hire a staff member, right? So we said... We want the pricing, so we need the CFO. So let's go ahead and hire a CFO right now. And now we can research pricing. That's going to take us 28 hours, but um, you know what? We're, that's something that we're going to want because we're going to want to charge more for these flights coming in. Uh, we don't need to necessarily hire more security because these scanners and the metal detectors actually do kind of run on their own. And we need to obviously label this a restroom. So let's go ahead and do that. And actually, before I forget, let us go over here and we're going to fix some of these zones a little bit. Uh, the drop-off zone here, we're going to move. Uh, this is going to go away. And this pickup zone is going to get uh, made a little bit bigger because that, that kind of seems ridiculous for how small that is. Pickup zone is going to get bigger. Garbage, I think we can uh, also relocate. Let's go ahead and put that. I don't want to create. I want to delete. Come on, guys. All right, garbage zone. We are going to find garbage. There it is. Let's go ahead and put that over here. Uh, that's and I'm sure that's not the prettiest. They're gonna exit out of here and go straight to garbage. But hey, whatever. Not a big deal. Okay, there's nothing up here. Let's go ahead and put the drop off. It's gonna be like our, our main priority over here. We're gonna do a big drop off zone, and we should be good. 
should you know plenty of flow here through the uh, drop off garbage pickup and delivery area so I think we're looking all right uh, I think we could probably start scheduling flights to come in um, yeah let's go ahead and do that actually no no I'm not gonna do that because we need the uh, we need the hangar and I don't think we're we have enough money now 46,000 we have 45.3 so it looks like I might be stuck I might be stuck with the small hangar which kinda sucks um that's unfortunate it really is mm. okay you know what we have to have it we have to have a small hangar actually well you know what Ah, uh, this sucks. I kind of didn't plan this right. Let's go ahead and just uh, have some uh, flights. Let's let's do some contracts, okay? So what we're gonna do? I, we don't have the night time. You know, we don't have that either. That's that's really. I, I have to do it. I have to. I have to do the night time, right? Like the night lights on the runway, because we definitely have to have flights coming in at night. Uh, so let's upgrade that. The runway lights are twenty-five thousand dollars. That's steep, but it will allow us to have flights. Uh, during the night time and then this over here it needs its own little uh, agent desk but it also needs the uh, doors sliding door area and let's make it look the same like it is over here let's so let's do something like that then we're gonna do the gate agent desk right I think we're gonna do it right here bam looks good 15,000 um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I think we'll be okay I think we will be fine Let's go ahead and do the flights. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's wait. Oh, no, we could start doing this. So we could do, uh, I want to say, two flights in the morning and two flights in the afternoon. Now, there's Bombardier here, 75 max. Sure, let's do that one. Can't accept that nighttime flight yet because it is uh, pretty... Uh, we don't have the, uh, the lights installed yet. Let's go ahead here and do... Uh, I think, can we do... Let's do the 737. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So we'll do the 737. So that's our two morning flights, right? And we have the two, uh, the two gates. So let's go ahead. We can do that. We can do that right there. Is this going away? Requires at least one gate agent desk to be assigned. Yes, I know it's not installed yet. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and do the afternoon flights now. See what our options are. Those are both morning. This here, we just have the nighttime one. We have another nighttime one, and I really need afternoon ones. So, okay, this is kind of this is kind of sucky. 250, we'll accept that one. And uh, can we fit another morning one? Since can we fit another morning one? Since we do have the two gates, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Let's accept that one. And then, real quick, we're gonna take a look at our little schedule here. So I think we're fine. Uh, we're still going to have this one departs at 6. This one's not going to come in until... Uh, let's have that one come in at... You know what? Let's do 8.30. Let's not push it. And then this one, that should be fine right there as well. So we could definitely fit another afternoon one. Do we have another afternoon slot? Night and morning, and the lights are in, so we can actually do the nighttime one as well. 7.67. That's a little... A little big. Uh, this 140. We want to accept that. Let's see what we have here. Morning ones? No, we're all good on the morning time. Beechcraft, 19. Sure, we can do that one. Let's go ahead and check out our schedule. Okay, so I think we're good there. And then this, uh, these can't get pushed any sooner. So I think we're fine there as well. We could actually do another nighttime one. Now let's see. Is there another nighttime one that we could do? There is 767. That's the big one. Um, I'm not sure if we can handle all that, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and risk it. 767, I'm going to risk it. And I'm going to tell you this, too. Uh, I'm not doing career mode on this uh, this game uh, because, I, you know, it's, it's the game's still just a little too hard. So I actually did sandbox. So we can go into negative on the bank balance. I'm going to try really hard to stay above, you know, try to stay in the profits. But, you know what? If we need to spend more money than we have available, I have no problems doing that. At least, uh, you know, so that we can generate enough revenue to uh, to get profitable. And then once we do make uh, some money, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, then again, try to make it to where we don't uh, get back into the red. And this here needs to be assigned to the gate. 
which is right here bam so that should make this go away which it did beautiful now we can do the cues so what I'm thinking is a lot of you guys pointed out you know this is where they go to kind of check in right right here by the computer so I think we're gonna start uh, the queue right there and then we're gonna do something like this and I don't know why I did the two I'm pretty sure that was my fault though so expand the queue we're gonna do something like this and then we're gonna put it up here along the wall and do something like this and this will allow for a ton of people uh, to be able to fit in that queue and I actually probably made that a little bit too big uh, not you know realizing that we have that second gate there so again this one over here let's exit this one over here we want the queue to start right there and then we could do something again like this and um, yeah let's just do this bam 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 and let's do like that just kinda like tail it off you know and then we could do something like that and I think we're looking good yeah I think we're looking pretty good over here you know what while we're doing that let's go ahead and put another one over here and then this one can kinda be our this one can be our first class uh, line over here so we're gonna assign to this queue over here and we're gonna make this first class because a lot of you guys were saying that that uh, will help with the boarding time so you know what let's go ahead and check it out and then this we're gonna assign it to the queue right here this one here we're gonna assign to this queue and I think we're good we are ready to start accepting people into our lovely airport let's go ahead and also do the vending machine as we all know like I, I really like these vending machines uh, they don't make us as much money as I would like but you know I uh, just gotta deal with it let's space these out somewhat nice I do a couple of garbage bins uh, you know for our trash guys so that they don't have to run around picking up a lot of garbage they can just go to these garbage uh, cans over here now we're, we're probably gonna expand that like I said uh, we're gonna demolish this wall eventually build out the foundation and put more of these uh, benches in but that's for a later time let's go ahead and also do a flight display which okay some of you guys were saying too that the flight display should be over here in ticketing and yes I agree once you come into the airport you do see those flight displays however I think they're more um, important over here where you know you're kinda waiting on your plane you're sitting in the bench area you've got nothing to do but read your magazine you can kinda walk up to these flight displays and see if your flight got delayed cancelled uh, whatever so let's go ahead and put this right in front of the gate because right this is gonna be the queue maybe they can see it from behind maybe they can't yeah it looks like it's like a two-way thing let's go ahead and put one right there then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put one right there as well that will help with the information aspect and now it is four o'clock we will not be getting any flights today that's one of the things that they changed in one of the patches was if you do accept a flight contract the first flight will always be the next day uh, so you know it could be four in the morning and you could accept a like 10 p.m. flight contract it's not gonna take effect 10 p.m. later that day you have to wait until the next day alright so if you go here we go to tomorrow and we can see that we have our let's see we have oh we have a lot of flights one two three four five six seven flights scheduled to come in tomorrow and let's check this out I think we're fine we can go ahead and push this one back a little bit uh, maybe push oh, no, we don't need to push that back we're good I think we're good this flight will leave this one will come in no problem that one will leave this one will come in also no problem so we could actually fit another afternoon flight which I don't think we have one as of right now let's go ahead and speed up time and we I think we're oh, you know what we need the cues over here right are these assigned did I did I forget to do that I'm sure I'm forgetting something and I'm sure you guys are yelling at me uh, so we're gonna assign each of these to the queue bam 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 and I'm pretty sure I forgot the hanger right yeah we don't have a hanger right now so like I said we can go into the negatives let's go ahead I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna build the medium hanger which is right here uh, we're gonna put this bad boy up here and then what we're gonna do is also we're gonna build this baggage routing station and we're gonna rotate it 
put that right let's put it right there now we're going to start doing the conveyor line this is going to come down I like to go out the little two squares we're going to come down here and then these bad boys here can get hooked up to the conveyor and then that's going to come up here then again this is going to go out the little two squares meet up with the conveyor there and then both of these baggage things same thing going to go up two squares meet up and bam we're good that worked out absolutely perfectly speeding up time get all that done so right now we're at negative sixty thousand dollars which you know kind of sucks uh not where i really want to be are we done researching pricing we're at 86 percent so once that gets done i'm gonna go ahead and let's multi-lane changes your airport entrance and exit to be three lane roads for higher throughput nice that's cool i like that road building so they can build roads upgrade buses extra double decker bus every 30 minutes all right that's kind of cool uh so pricing 95 96 percent done i want to be able to adjust how much we charge for flights coming in using our runway using our terminal all that good stuff that is done being researched it is completed all right let's go ahead and go into pricing how much do you charge airlines to use your runway per usage right now we're at 400 let's go ahead and go to let's do six let's not be too greedy and then terminal usage income how much you charge airlines to use your terminal per passenger right now we're at 10 bucks i feel like that's kind of low we're going to go ahead and we're going to do 15 and we can always raise those up later on now it is midnight so our first flight will be coming in here at i want to say 4 a.m right so we should see our first few passengers coming in here pretty soon and once they do we need to have a full staff uh, set up here so they can work that ticket encounter there you can have one person working this desk here one person working that desk over there and what we're gonna do we're just gonna do one more security guard because like I said the metal detectors don't require them so we're just gonna have security guards at the um, at the uh, ID checks stands and then also at the bag scanner stands we're good here um, you know what? I kind of want to move that pickup area just so that it's closer to this gate. So what I think I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this garbage over here and I'm going to do the pickup area. I'm actually going to extend it at first. Let's do something like that. And then I can make it lower over here, uh, less of a pickup area. And what we need, it's garbage, right? That we del uh, deleted. Let's go ahead and do garbage down here good 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 people should be coming in here pretty soon uh, and yes I'm sure you guys are yelling at me again I know I forgot I need to do a couple of cues down here let's go ahead and do something like you know what? let's do the individual cues should we do individual or should we do together you know what I want to do uh, I want to do uh, one cue so we'll do something like that I think that's good enough. I don't think it needs to be bigger than that. Assign to the queue. Nope, not you. Assign to the queue. And we should be good. We can. Uh, we have people coming in already. Look at that. And you know what? There is a new bug that I actually noticed when I was testing this out. And it is kind of unfortunate that it, like I haven't experienced this bug. Um, oh, they're still building the conveyor. Uh, I haven't experienced this bug. Did he just go backwards? Ah, uh, really? I built them backwards? Again? I thought we got past this, people. Jeez. Alright, destroy, destroy. I want to leave the one for the people that are coming in right now. Yeah, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Oh, well. I think I might want to move it one spot, too. Uh, so, like I was saying, we have the new bug that I've experienced, and it's that people get actually stuck at these ID check stands. Uh, so, you know, if there's 100 spots available on a plane, there's always like 99 people of, out of 100. And there's always that one person stuck here at the ID check stand, which kind of sucks. Uh, our construction guys are working on the conveyors. Let's go ahead and check the status of that. So these up here are completely connected, so that's good. They still have some work to do over here on the, uh, the arriving baggage. Just uh, this area here and a little bit over here. Which kind of sucks because this plane will not have the use of the the conveyor belt 
but that should be uh, done here pretty soon. Nope, keep hitting the wrong button. Go ahead, finish that. Come on, finish building it for me. I need you to. I need you to finish. Negative sixty-eight thousand bucks. That's uh, not not the greatest. Okay, good, good. We're done there. Go ahead. They uh, okay. I need to slow down time. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So they demolish these metal detectors over here, right? So we need to go back to metal detector, and we need to make sure that these are facing. Okay, I thought I put those in the right way. Apparently not. Let's go ahead and bump them back one spot as well. Wait till that gets finished uh, in being installed. And now what we can do is we're going to delete this one. And we're going to go ahead and rebuild it. And we're just going to be facing the right way this time. And there we go. They're going in perfectly fine. Now, let's make sure that this one here is and you know what ah, th this is probably the bug that they fixed that uh, that I'm the happiest about is the time a lot of you guys in the comment section and I thank you all for commenting about this um, a lot of you guys noticed that the time up here and the time in the little uh, starts in section right there didn't uh, coincide with each other so for like every five seconds that ran off here only one second would run off here so clearly the timing was uh you know it was buggy uh, it didn't work right so let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit and what we can see here is okay and I, i'm going to show you what exactly what i'm talking about right so we have what 30 minutes left let's go ahead. it's it's 30 minutes left and it's 8 17. so now it's going to click off right it was 8 17. so it clicked off five seconds there and it is now 8 21 8 20 22 and it's still at 25 minutes so for, for the most part you know the, it, it was a five second thing there 25 now so that, uh, when that turns to about 828 that's gonna go back down I think 828 830 it is now 830 there it is see 830 15 so we're good we are we are very close if not you know perfectly in sync with this time and this time now 45 out of 58 people uh, are boarded speed up time a little bit more 57 out of 58 58 out of 58 and we still have 10 minutes left of departure time so that is that is awesome uh, no more delays no more late fees from the airlines that they're gonna be charging us for not getting the plane out on time and you know what real quick before I talk too much and forget to do this I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save and what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this the let's play episode 7 save and there we go because you know I did have a little bit of a run in here where one of these planes did get stuck and it didn't want to do what it was supposed to do so I just want to make sure that I somewhat periodically save so that if we do have one of those little issues uh, I don't have to start over I can just go ahead and go to that last save point and we will be good there now let's see this is gonna be a bigger a uh, little bit bigger of an airplane let's make sure that we are a hundred percent filled up on that as well as uh, able to leave on time there and you know what I forgot to do and I'm surprised that plane left on time with me forgetting to do this I need to do a baggage car and I need to do a fuel truck over here in the hangar right that will also allow these planes to leave on time uh, they're still for some reason why are they do okay because we didn't have the baggage car yep that makes sense so that plane 99 out of 99 but I'm not sure if it left on time let's check 1130 so I'm guessing that was this one here departs at 11 so that one might have left a little bit late uh, so that's kind of unfortunate but this next one I'm pretty sure is gonna leave on time people are using our little uh, seating section here pretty well I'm sure we have a cleaner right that restrooms a little bit dirty needs to be cleaned up let's go ahead and speed up time and all right how many people can fit on this 145 so this will be a really good test as we can see the luggage car over here this is going to be a really good test to see if our airport is pretty efficient and works the way that i really want it to work so it's going to start boarding now we have 67 minutes to board 145 people let's go ahead and speed up time the queue as you guys can see it could probably be a little bit larger just because there are a few guys that were kind of like hanging out not in the queue 
Slow down time. 12 minutes left. 7 minutes left. 20 people that we need aboard. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. 2 minutes left. Uh, two more people get on the plane. One person and okay, so we three minutes late. Not bad whatsoever. I'm more than happy with that. More than happy, and that's with the queue being a little bit short. Let's go ahead and actually extend that because uh, I want to be able to address that. So let's uh, get rid of that, and we're gonna expand it just a little bit more, like so. Bam, 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 something like that. You know what, let's go ahead and do the one more. Let's go ahead and do the two more. Actually, no, I'm going to shrink it by one square just so that we don't have a little cluster cluster over here. Uh, did I assign? I'm pretty sure I assigned that, right? Um, you know what, we haven't had a need to use this first class line because we haven't had two flights in at the same time, which kind of makes me think that we could actually afford to uh, do a few more contracts. Cause let's let's check this out. It's departed and route like nothing is uh nothing got canceled or anything, right? Let's go to yesterday. So this is the first day that we're doing this. Let's go ahead. Let's see where we could afford to have a few more planes. Definitely in the afternoon. We could do at least I'm guessing two more in the afternoon. Do we have anything else? Morning, morning. I don't know if we could fit another one in the morning. Four a.m. You know what? Maybe we could. If we if we bump this one up here, this one leave at six, then this one could leave at let's say eight o'clock or arrive at eight o'clock. Uh, let's do seven thirty. And then if this one leaves at seven fifteen, we're gonna need another one that could come in at like eight thirty. So let's go ahead and accept one more. Uh, seven. We'll do the smallest one, seven o seven, and seven thirty seven. So the seven thirty seven is smaller by forty people. So 737, I'm going to go ahead and accept that one. We'll go into our schedule. And so this one leaves at 715. The 737 can then leave at, oh, let's say it's 845. I think that'll be fine. I think that'll work. So we're at negative 68,000 bucks. However, I do think that we should start making money. And you know what? I did test out that cafe in the kitchen, like I was saying earlier that uh, they that was like the number one bug that they addressed and I'm thinking um, I'm thinking that it is something I'm gonna wanna do I'm gonna have to play around with it just a little bit more um, it, it was working however people were still choosing to go to the cafe overboarding their plane which I think the game should kinda write that in to where if these people don't make it if they don't have enough time to eat they'll get up out of their chairs like angry or something that they didn't get their food on time and they'll just go to their flights because that's like the number one priority right you're not going to go to the airport and then miss your flight because you're waiting on food like the, the the plane ticket and all that is much more expensive and getting to your destination is a lot more important than the, the crappy cheeseburger that you're waiting on in the cafe right like every every smart person would do that they'd get up and they just angrily, you know, without asking for a refund, they just storm off and go onto the plane. So hopefully they uh, they address that in the near future. Let's make sure this one's fully boarded. Seven minutes left. Two minutes left. Uh, let's go. And it is fully boarded, and it wasn't late whatsoever. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now, as we can see here, the smallest plane. Use this over here. We have one person. This uh, this gentleman over here is waiting in the first class line which we could probably lower by one square but yeah we have a few people here how many people can fit on this plane uh... there's gonna be eight people so i'm guessing there's seven people here one two three four five six uh... are there only six people there yeah looks like there's six people there one person there they're gonna be getting on the plane and yeah uh, there's our eighth person right there lovely lovely so they did use the first class uh, line there they're gonna start boarding here in a few minutes let's go ahead and slow down let's see if the first class passenger goes first uh, nope doesn't look like there's really a priority for the first class which is a little strange but hey I'm not you know I've never flown first class personally so I'm not upset that they uh, took the coach people first not upset about it at all let's go ahead and speed up time see how efficient this is Looks like this is pretty good, pretty efficient right there. Uh, security looks like, you know, working fine too. 
don't really need to add a third ID check stand or anything like that. Our bag scanners and our metal detectors are working perfectly fine. This queue is absolutely packed. A few people here at the very tail end are not technically in the queue. As you can see, let's slow down time. They're kind of like hanging out, seeing like, hey, are you going next? Are you going next? No, I'm going to go next. All right, cool. This balding Asian guy over here kind of snuck in in front of this woman. But yeah, you know what? With how long it takes the board, that's uh, that's fine. These guys have plenty of time to decide who's going next and actually get into the queue. Wrong button yet again. And look at that. They're all there. Yeah, oh, this is a big one. 147. Let's see if they all leave on time. Alright, come on. Get in there. Okay, so we're a little late. 147 out of 147, and it was two minutes late. Again, I'm not complaining about that whatsoever anyways i think this is a good no wait hold on somebody left their bag there's just the one little bag going around in circles and nobody claimed it that's kind of sad huh maybe they're in the taxi like hey where's my bag i don't know no the bag disappeared all right maybe lost and found or something i think that's where we're going to leave out this episode hopefully you guys liked it um, you know what, if you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Again, you guys have been absolutely amazing with this series. I mean, thousands and thousands of uh, views on the videos, hundreds of likes, hundreds of comments. I'm trying to get to everybody. And there's just no way that I can respond to everybody's comments. But I try, I really do. So again, if you guys like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to me. And yeah. Um, you know what? This is a fun game and it's only getting better and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I will see you guys on another video. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.